guys, this video is a bit different, it's sort of me talking about current YouTubers and I'm going to try and make it quick. Firstly, I just want to say most of the biggest UK YouTubers started their YouTube channel maybe four or five years ago, so they were quite young and I did not even think of YouTube as somewhere where it's sort of like your own TV program where you can put anything you want pretty much and to create an audience and it's crazy of how big YouTube is right now and how great an audience it has attracted and it's amazing to think the millions that watch YouTubers daily pretty much. Um, so I might have started watching YouTubers maybe one to two years ago and they were pretty much the same up till now. I mean, apart from having all these deals with big companies and sponsorship deals, um, clothing ranges, makeup, books, um, stationery. It's crazy how well these youngsters have done. I'm not saying that I want that because I actually don't want to have that fame because I can't imagine walking on the street and everyone knowing you but you not knowing them, like you don't know their name or their face. Um, so I don't think fame is for me and I think fame's not for everyone. <laughs> I think it can really get to people's heads and if you fall, it will fall pretty bad, possibly, and it will be everywhere. Um, it's, I think to be famous you'd, you'd have to do a lot of good. And you'd have to be a good person because who wants to just watch bad people all the time? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so for example, someone like Zoella, I remember um, she mentioned to her fans, her viewers, saying like <sighs> so many of her viewers wanted to become YouTubers and they were like, how do you do it? And she said, just start off with whatever you can, whatever you want. And Zoella referred to her first video or one of her first videos and it was 60 things around my room. And I remember it was kind of dark, like the lighting was dark, it was kind of quiet, the audio was quiet and um, editing was very basic and um, it wasn't professional but she had so many views, so many likes and another thing was when she talked she wasn't confident she didn't seem it she didn't seem even that happy and some of them it was just kind of like um hi I, um, this is in my room <laughs> i'm sure she didn't talk like that i'm not saying that anything bad about her because you know i like her she's a very likable um character it just shows that most of these youtubers were really shy when they first started out and when you look at them now they obviously worked hard to um pay for good lighting and great cameras and um, to set up their room nicely and stuff like that. Um, all of that takes a lot of effort and time. So I just feel like they obviously loved doing what they were doing, creating new content and regularly, and they were creating a, a regular viewer connection. I'm pretty sure none of them imagined that their channel would grow to this scale. I mean, most of them have been on national TV and you visited so many countries, they've got fans everywhere pretty much and I just want to encourage anyone who's currently pursuing things that they love, so they're doing something they love but they're not getting noticed or they can't make money out of it right now but I just feel like if you love something so much and you're good at it um, I think you should stick at it because as they say if you love your work then you never have to spend a day working at uh, something like that I just ruined the quote but um, I agree if you love doing something so much and you know there'll be days when you're not in the mood but you'll still be able to do things I'm not explaining it properly if there's something you love doing but you can't get anything from it and you can't earn from it I think you should stick to it because just like YouTube, your love, your passion, it may just be noticed or you may be able to invest so much time and effort into it that people get on board and it becomes something that many, many people want to be involved in or support or fund or whatever. It's such a vague thing to say. If you love doing something and 
it's not very popular for example I think just carry on doing it but yeah just to summarize my my main thing was just seeing the youtubers when they were younger or a few years ago and how much they progress and how amazing their videos are it's literally like a reality TV show it's their own TV channel a YouTube channel but it's like a TV channel where you get a series um, but except it's real, like real real, not just reality TV, it's actually real and they're not putting it on or anything and they are likeable characters, they're well spoken, they're not necessarily highly educated but um, I think they don't do things that are horrible or extreme or ridiculous just to get a laugh out of it. Um, maybe some YouTubers do but um, yeah I wouldn't encourage that personally for example I don't really like um, cursing in videos um, swear words and I just think it's unnecessary and it just brings it down a notch like the quality is yeah um, but that's for me and I feel like some of these YouTubers really do help people especially with their confidence and believing in themselves and um, disorders and stuff like that and they do try to raise money for charities and they do genuinely try to meet their viewers and stuff like that and I just think it's nice the whole thing is nice um, I don't know how they do it though with the whole vlogging in public <laughs> that one is yeah it's easy to just sit in your room and put a camera in front of you and talk but to vlog in public props to you guys <laughs> anyway um I don't know, that was just a chatting kind of video for me and I'll see how much I even put in this video because it was a bit of a ramble and I didn't even know what I was talking about a quarter of the time. But thanks for tuning in anyway and uh, till next time.